Hey everyone, my name is Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. Today I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches when you know you need to frog back. In this case, I'm going to be picking up stitches before I rip out my mistake. So this week has not been a great knitting week for me. I have knit this part of my sweater. This is the Tanya sweater by Caitlin Hunter, and I have knit these short rows here. They're kind of hard to see, but short rows twice now, and I have made two different errors. <laughs> so I thought, why not make lemonade out of lemons and record a tutorial and show you guys how I have been frogging this knit. So I have just pulled my needles here completely off the stitches. I've got live stitches going all the way across. And what I'm gonna show you how to do is how I come back to um, where I no longer have an error, which for me is going to be a row of stockinette here that does not have short rows in it, and how I'm going to use my knitting needles to pick up across that row so when I actually start pulling out the knitting, I will have all my stitches nice and neat and ready to go. So I am gonna start over here on the right edge and I am just going to pick up the first stitch here that I see. It's my very, very first stitch. Now, I may not be picking it up perfect, but that's okay. Right now, I am just going to grab loops as best as I can. Okay, so for me, these first four stitches are the row that I want to be picked up. The rest has been knitted on top of, meaning that there's more rows on it, and I actually need to come back to everything that aligns with the row that these stitches are on. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to be picking up stitches. So this first one here, I am gonna be picking up this stitch. This is the row that I need, and I'm only going to be picking up the right leg of the stitches. So I'm just gonna move down along the row, and I'm gonna be looking for the stitch next door. Here's the stitch next door and I'm gonna come underneath and grab the right leg and just keep moving along like so, trying my best to stay in the same row. Now, if you're like, that's gonna be really hard to figure out which stitches are in the same row, it's okay, you might not get it totally perfect. Sometimes I have like a group of four or five stitches that are not on the same row, that's completely okay. It's getting us into a better place than we would be if we just completely ripped this whole thing back. So I'm gonna go along picking up, again, the right leg of the stitches in the same row all the way across. So when I'm trying to figure out where to pick up the next stitch, what I'll do is sort of spread the stitches out so that I can see the bars that run in between the stitches and between the rows. And I'll make sure that um, my needle tip is lining up in between those bars, that they are matching. Again, it's okay if you don't get this completely perfect. It does take some practice. And since I've been ripping a lot of things out lately, I have had a lot of practice with this. Okay, so now I'm making it across to the other side and I can tell I probably missed and gone down a few rows because I have, I should have ended with these stitches, but you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna get it all fixed when I get it pulled out. Just make sure you don't forget to get the loop on the very, very, very end. Now, I have all of these stitches here. You can see I've got all this knitting up here that I am taking out, unfortunately, but I've got all these stitches picked up across. Now, like I said, it's okay if they're not all exactly on the same row here. We're gonna hopefully be pretty close, but now I'm actually gonna start ripping things back and then we can fix all of those stitches that are the wrong way or not quite on the same row, but we don't have to worry about pulling out stitches next to them as we're doing it because we have every single stitch here on the needle. So you may be wondering, what do I do if I'm not doing short rows? If I am going to pick up a row that is just stockinette and it's way far a couple inches down. So you would start right away with the very right edge stitch and you would go ahead and try to get that edge loop and then immediately start picking up in the right leg of the stitches. It works just the same. Don't worry if you don't feel like a master of fixing mistakes just yet. Honestly, the more things that you know, the more things you can mess up. You'll get your practice. 
Okay, I just took a second to tidy up my yarn and I'm about to pull out the very last row. So you can tell here that there's one more row that I need to pull out before I'm on the row where my stitches are all on the needle. This is definitely like the most satisfying part. You can also tell that I might have goofed up right over here because I've actually got two rows, but don't worry, we're gonna come back and fix those guys in just a second. So here is, oh wait, maybe I didn't goof up. Maybe I'm okay. Let me see if I can get this little stitch on the end here. Let's pop him off because he is holding us back from pulling out the rest. Not so satisfying yet. Okay, so I'm just going to take this guy out, place him back on my needle, and then here is the best part right here. Oh, that is so satisfying. You don't have to worry about finding your stitches. They're just there. They're just coming right off. Oh, it is literally, well, if you have to frog something, at least you can have a nice feeling here after you're frogging it. Okay, so you can tell right here things got a little goofy because I was pulling this out and then it kind of like stopped like right here. And then I've got yarn going across the back. So I think I just need to fix these few stitches on the end, which happens a lot. So I'm actually going to turn things around and I'm going to slide these four stitches over to my left hand needle. And I'm just gonna have to work on them. I'm gonna fix that one. I'm just gonna have to work on them a little bit because I think they actually need to come out. Like this one needs to come down one more row and then that pulls out and then this one can just slide over because it's not connected and then here's another one that needs to come down one more row so I'm just grabbing the stitch underneath it so that this one will pull out sliding it over and then this one here on the end is just a slip stitch so I think we might oh no wait this one needs to be purled so I'm gonna pull it over and I'm gonna finish that row. Sorry for bumping the camera by purling that one. And then I think we're okay. So now I'm just gonna kind of like run through and check and make sure there's nothing crazy going on on either side. But of course, as I knit this row again, I am gonna be checking every stitch, making sure it's not twisted or dropped as I do the last stitch. And always double check the ends. Those seem to be the hardest. And one more tip, you probably want to give your stitches a count. Just make sure you didn't lose anything in the frogging process. Okay guys, I am ready to give this part of the pattern one more try. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out today. If you ever have to frog something in stockinette stitch, you can pull it out with just a little more ease. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.